In this session, we are going to discuss what is debugging and how to run a program in debug mode using IntelliJ IDEA. Debugging in a broader sense could mean a lot of things, but specifically speaking, debugging is the process by which we can look for the issues in our code to detect them and find a proper way to resolve them. Here, I have a sample class called debug hello world. I'm going to run the main method of this particular class in debug mode. In the process, we will understand how to run a program in debug mode, how to place breakpoints, and how to stop that, how to resume that. To start with, I'll first place a few breakpoints in the code. As you can see, there are line numbers already placed. If we can click just right side to it, few red dots would be appearing. These are called breakpoints. Specifically speaking, these are line breakpoints. Now, what are breakpoints or line breakpoints? These are basically markers placed within the code in an editor where the program flow would get paused if the program is run in debug mode. So let us first see how to run a sample program in debug mode. So what I can do, I can right click on the code and click debug program name. As you can see over here, this line number six is marked in blue. So the program is currently running in debug mode and the flow has paused at line number six. And at the bottom, we can see a few things. This variable section, it's active now. The debugger window is also active. What has happened here, the program flow has paused, means the line number six is not executed yet. So what we can do, we can now control the flow of the program. In the debug window, these are the few important buttons for debugging purpose. One particular button we will use, which is called step over. What it does, if we click this, the control would flow to the next line. Another thing we can do is use this particular button, which is resume program. Now, what it does, if we click this, the control flow will resume and it will pause at the next breakpoint. So let me click this one. You can see the flow is now halted on line number nine. So the first line where we have initialized i equals to 10, that is executed. The next line i equal to i plus 100, that is also executed. So the value of i is now 110. We can see that value at the variable section. Now the flow has come to line number nine. It has not executed yet. So what we have seen, we have run the program in debug mode. We have used this particular button that is resume. And we can also stop the program using this button called stop. Let me stop this program. Let us rerun the program in debug mode. So for that, what I can do, I can right click, click here, or we can click this particular button given over here, this debug button, or at the debug window, similar to the buttons we have used earlier, we have another debug button, rerun. So let me rerun. You can see again the program flow, it is halted at line number six. We can click this resume program button, shortcut is F9. And we can continue the program flow, like uh, we can press resume or we can do just step over. So let me resume. 
and the program gets finished. So we can see the output in the console as well. The two sysouts are shown in the console like the value of i is 110 over here and then when we subtract it is 90. What we have seen in this session is how to run a program in debug mode, how it gets paused when the breakpoints are placed, how to resume the program in debug mode and how to rerun the code in debug mode.